Thank you for coming back to Great Books for Kids, reviewed by Michelle Marcotte. Lots of people talk about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math books for kids, but probably no one has made science and arithmetic as fun, funny, interesting, and real for kids aged 4 to 10 as 13 Ways to Eat a Fly by Susan Heavenrich and illustrated by David Clark. Not only that, but the science in this book is entomology, the study of insects. Comparatively speaking, not too many people think of entomology when they think of scientific fields of study. I worked with entomologists for more than a decade, and I even married one. So I can vouch for the fact that entomologists are funny, and entomology is interesting. Many animals and plants even rely on flies and other flying insects for food. This book uses absolutely delightful language and illustrations to show us 13 ways that flies are eaten using words that kids will laugh at, such as zapped, wrapped, waterbound, underground, and more. This is definitely a laugh out loud book. And behind the laugh, there's great science information, such as the common and Latin names of flying insects and details about how and where they get eaten. The fun language will appeal to younger readers when you read this book out loud. And older readers will gain valuable information. There are several end pages that, believe it or not, talk about the nutrient value of flies, what parts are edible, and provides a biography for further reading. After reading this book, kids will look at pesky flying insects in a new way. The illustrations are big and bold and animated, and a big part of this reason that this book is so funny. The illustrations are also reasonably clear enough that budding entomologists might be able to tell you what fly that is on the kitchen ceiling when you next see one. So 13 Ways to Eat a Fly is fun, introduces flying insects, the creatures that eat them, the habitats where insects are eaten, and counts backwards from 13 to zero. This is a book that any science or STEM oriented family needs. And if you have a kid who really dislikes flying insects, this book will provide them with an excellent revenge strategy. 13 Ways to Eat a Fly was published by Charles Bridge and it's available from the Amazon link that I placed in the comments below. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first on your block to learn of new books by new authors and illustrators. I would love to hear your comments, questions, or suggestions for other STEM books that I should review. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.